fought up thing was this itchy band one here and I like to talk about Assassin's Creed Unity it's only two words to describe this game it sucks and this is not something that I just heard about or read about on the internet or on YouTube or some other website I played this game on all three systems PS4 Xbox One and the PC and all I have to say is it sucks it sucks and it sucks Ubisoft should be ashamed of themselves you know it's not bad enough that they give us the same old game year after year but now they want to give us a broken one. No, not broken, because broken means that the game doesn't play. But it's defective, because it doesn't play the way it's supposed to be played. And then, you got people that actually do damage control of well, these corporations. I mean, it's unbelievable. When they're not doing damage control, you got people like Crap Gamer, and next gen 720 and some of the xbox fanboys ow oh, we thought that the ps4 was so much more powerful really i mean really the game played like crap across the board when are we going to get tired of these developers and these publishers jerking us around? Are we that thirsty? Are we really that thirsty for new games on this gen's consoles? That we will take anything they choose to give us? I mean, come on. You go in the store and buy a toaster and the toaster's broken. What do you do? You take it back for a new toast, or at the very least, you want your money back, right? The same thing, if you go into a store and buy a pair of pants, and the pants fit beautifully, and when you get back home, find out it has a hole in it. What do you do? Do you take it back, exchange it, or, or ask for your money back? Or, do you do this? You call them up and the man says, oh, the pants had a hole in it? Oh, don't worry about it. I'll get my best tailor to come out there in two, no, make that in a month. And they repair it as good as new. Or with the toaster, we get our best repairman out there in two to three weeks. I mean, really? Well, that's exactly what the developers and publishers are doing with us. Why pay 60 and really not 60 for me? I live in New York. I don't go to Gamefly and I don't go to Redbox. I buy my things. I buy them. I buy them. And I'm paying $66.35 with tax. For a game that doesn't work properly? Really? always did what you always done you'll always get what you always got and if we're thirsty enough to keep buying these games no matter how defective they are believe me these developers and publishers they're gonna keep churning them out and why shouldn't they leave your thoughts and comments I'd really like to read them follow me on Facebook Twitter and Twitch this is a you damn one here saying, later gamers, I'm out.